Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan, and I've decided to take a small break from Skyrim just for a little bit. We're still going to be doing the top fives every week, but, you know, just doing that constantly. I want to have something else on this channel, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of a playthrough of Oblivion. I don't know how many episodes we'll go through, and I don't know how many quests we'll go through, but we're going to start it, and I'm going to see how you guys like it. I did a quick community, you know, tab thing a couple weeks ago using the new community tab. I put a thing out that said, hey, would you guys like to see, you know, a playthrough of Oblivion or some episodes of Oblivion? And and a lot of you said, yeah, you'd like to see it, so here we are. We're going to be playing Oblivion. I'm going to be starting a new character, but I'm going to be skipping through the tutorial scene. I have a preloaded save that is just me right before the exit to the sewers and uh, right before we get free. And at this, I don't know if you guys knew that, but if you have a save at this location here and you just keep it and you want to start a new character you can right off the bat like right whenever you start here and you're about to exit you can edit your race your birth sign your class as if you you know just started the game or you could just finish which what you have and that's that there so um, if you keep a save here, you'll be able to just skip the entire tutorial and start a new game from scratch. So uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Uh, edit race. Normally, every time I play, I'm a Breton. So I think we're just going to stay around the same, you know, character there. Face-wise, I, I don't really mess with the face too much. I think it looks pretty all right. I think he's a pretty decent looking character. Uh, the hair, however, black length. Kind of make him have a little bit longer hair. And the black, I kind of want it to be like a... A solid black color so we're gonna have a solid black hair color some loose hair there and uh, that looks pretty good um, edit birth sign hmm I don't know what birth sign I want to be a lot of the birth signs in this game are pretty weak um, speed is a good attribute to have but I think I can grant that through just leveling up um, casting a spell costs 100 points of fatigue Being born under the Lord gives you the blood of the North Lesser Power to regenerate up to 90 points of health. However, you also gain the Cholkin Curse, a permanent 25% weakness to fire. Screw that. I never... I've played as the Atronach once, but I only got to level like 5 before it started to really annoy me. Not being able to regain magic over time is very annoying. And the spell absorption just seems like it's a weak thing all around, so I never really have used that. Um, I got a lot of people saying that they wanted me to do a battle mage playthrough, which is pretty much exactly my playstyle. You know, I, I like being a mage, but I also like to carry the sword as well. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just what we're going to go through again, and we're going to be doing that. I've played as the apprentice, apprentice a couple times, and uh, I don't know, the thief, just 10 point bonuses to agility, speed, and luck. You can't beat that. That's such a That's such a great birth sign. Our class, what do we got? Chosen one. Okay, what do we got? Stealth, Strength, Endurance, Alchemy, Blade, Destruction, Light Armor, Marksman, Security, and Sneak. We're going to keep that one. So that's pretty much all we have there. Our, char our character has been created. Uh, we have some, you know, not really decent loot right off the bat. I'm actually going to drop some of this. I don't need... Oh, actually, you know what? I'll keep it. I'll keep it because then our first stop of the day, or of our first playthrough is to go and sell off all of our stuff, then come back, and we'll head over to Vilverin, pick up that alien statue, and then we can start, you know, our quest through there. We are going to head over to the Imperial City Market District and pawn off all our goods, as well as getting the Thornier quest. Uh, I never really do the Thornier quest right off the bat. I kind of do a couple quests first, and then I go over to that one. Feel free to browse, friend. All right, let's ask about Thornier. Start from the beginning. Chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member. I think I need to turn the voice volume up just a little bit. So we're gonna ask him a little bit about that and sell our stuff. Um, for those of you who haven't played the Thornier Quest in this game or haven't played this game at all, uh, if you go into this store and you talk to a Gen Scene, which is her name. Uh, she'll give you this quest about this guy who is selling stuff in town for really low prices, and she's kind of uh, she's kind of suspicious on where he's getting this stuff from because they're like dead low prices. So we're gonna be selling off all of our thirty-seven rat meat. What the heck? Okay, uh, Petty, we'll keep that. Chameleon, Flashbolt. I don't need any of these. I don't think I've ever used any scroll in this game ever. I just sell them for money. 
Um, okay, so that's pretty much all I want to sell at the moment. What's my hotkey look like? Okay, that's torch. Okay. Increase our alchemy just a bit. And we could even just sell these potions that we just created right back to her. That we just made right in front of her. Restore fatigue, yep. And... Yeah, I, I always keep the damage health potions, the healing potions, and the uh, magicka potions. Just because I'm definitely going to need them. I'm not playing on a ridiculously hard difficulty, but it's set about halfway, which is kind of difficult. Some enemies can be really difficult to defeat. And then also a very important aspect of leveling up alchemy is you're free to search all of these... What? You talk to me first. What do you mean, yes? <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Uh, if you go into these barrels that are in the market district, there is a ton of food to make restore fatigue potions. And you can create a bunch of potions and sell them and get some money right off the bat. Yep, there's another alchemy skill. We have 12 rice, dang. Another alchemy skill. Alright, so let's check. Our process to leveling up to level 2 is already, you know, 3 fourths of the way there. Our alchemy is at 34. Alright. Alright, we're ready to continue. Um, now that we've sold all our stuff to Jensine, we can now head back to the Imperial Prison sewers. And we can go across the lake to Vilverin, which is a ruin that we can search to get an alien statue. Bring it on. Oh, I almost forgot. Cold Touch is by far one of the best beginner spells to use because just look how powerful this is. Oh my god! I don't remember being that powerful. Hold on. Yeah, it's about... I'll keep it halfway. We'll save it there. I don't want it to be, like, overpowered, but I don't want to die in, like, two hits, obviously. Yeah. This is a very powerful spell to use at the beginning of the game. Uh, what are we going to be doing? What, what is this going to be? Three? Fur gives me two, so I don't want fur. Um, Alright, so we want a high defense, but we don't want to be weighed down at all. Get this hand to hand book here. Don't really need hand to hand, but it's not like I'd ignore it. Let's grab this Magicka thing and we can drop on down to Vilverin and explore it. Alright. So let's test. I don't really ever use the bow in these types of situations. Normally I just shoot him with like a fire bolt from here, but I'm gonna see how much damage this will do. Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay, now it's kinda bad. Oh, I got her! Oh, fur helmet, give me that. And fur greaves, give me those reason why is I'm not really a heavy armor player so I can drop these now all right we don't look like the greatest looking person in the world but we're protected that's all that matters be a little sneaky over here all right I think we have a clear shot I mean we might as well grind our marksman skill if we're gonna be using it later on Oh, and that spell, to, the thing to heal yourself using block is also effective whenever it comes to shooting fireballs or using a cold touch spell. You can cast them way faster and deal way more damage just by blocking. Take that. I'll take that lock pick. Alright. I can hear a woman just going, huh? What was that? <laughs> 
because I'm jumping around up here. I should probably pick up more torches just in case mine goes out. Oh, there she is. Oh, God. Yeah, you said that. Ooh. Oh, my God. How the hell has she not heard me yet? And I have my torch out, too. So she can't see, like, a bright light approaching her? With my sneak being this low? Yeah, that's it. See, one thing I really wish was that... You obviously aren't making a good effort looking for me. You're just staring straight ahead. Oh, nice. That was perfect. I honestly didn't expect it to kill her in one hit. I was expecting a fight there, but that's pretty good. Alright. Speed gets a plus four boost. We'll do endurance, and... I didn't happen to look for how much carry weight that we have. So, we're probably going to do strength as well. What are we at? 235, that's pretty good. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? There we go. Love it up again. All right. This is working out great so far. Oh, was that a bed? Hell yeah. Do some more leveling. Um, endurance. I'm pretty much going to level endurance up every time I level up until I'm level, you know, until I have endurance at 100. Because endurance is pretty much the most important perk in the game. The most important attribute that you can have in the game. Um, we'll do the one that governs destruction and restoration. And we'll do agility. Alright, let's get out of here. Or let's go deeper so we can get the uh, alien statue, then we can get out of here. There's a lot of welcome stones. And there's also one Varla stone, I believe. The welcome stones, what they do is you can either sell them, which they're actually worth a good bit. 50 each, that adds up in the end, for sure. And then there's the Varla stones, which is... Or I didn't even say what the Welkin Stones do. The Welkin Stones, what they do is if you use them, they will refill your Magicka all the way up. So if your Magicka is all the way down and you use a Welkin Stone, it will just refill it completely. The Varla Stones, however, they re-enchant every single item that you have in your inventory. So let's say I have a bow that's enchanted and it has zero charge, and I have a sword that's enchanted that has zero charge. If I use a Varla Stone, it will charge them both completely, and I won't have to use any Soul Gems to replenish them so those are also very useful I've never actually used many Varla stones normally I sell them because they are worth way more than they need to be way, way more than they're useful for I guess I'm just gonna let all these guys out at once this is gonna be a battle that's for sure There's our light armor. Battle mages are unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. Oh, this guy didn't want to fight. He's just like oblivious to the whole thing. He's like, wait, that was my Q? Okay, so these go in... Oh, I thought they went in intervals of two. Okay, give me that. Um, Alright, I think this might be where the Necromancer is. Oh, it totally is. Yep, there he is. Come here. 
Can I yield? He has a name. He's not just called Necromancer. He actually has a name. I didn't know that that was a thing. Got some leather bracers. Get a little bit more armor on us. Alright, so what's our status at right now? We got... About uh, another three-fourths of the way to the next level. Um, we're about to be level four, it looks. So that's pretty good. We got some okay loot, and we started with the alien statue, which is going to be a quest later on. We're just going to hold on to that now. We could go back to the market district and sell the welcome stones, as well as the Varla stone, in order to get some cash. I'm going to hold on to three Welcome Stones, just in case. It's time to go question Thornier. I think we're going to try to do the Mage's Guild really early into the game, because I want to be able to start making my own spells really early, because they'll be really useful towards the end. What kind of deal? What about my inventory? Very nice selection, Thornier. Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. And you never know what I'll have in stock. I can see by the look on your face. You wonder where I get all these fantastic items. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else who asks. It's all about who you know. My sources are good, but they are secret. Anyway, have fun looking around. And when you are ready to buy, give me a shout. So our next course of action is to follow the guy around, which is kind of creepy, but we're going to have to do that. I'm pretty sure that's that's what it says. Speaking to the Thornier hasn't revealed any information. Since he obviously is hiding something, I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does when the shop closes. Every shop closes at around 8 p.m., so that's 11 hours. So We will follow Thornier around. Yeah, this is where they meet. Yep. Oh, and Argamir's right there. He just saw me. We're just going to pretend that I'm behind these bushes. Because you have to get close enough to actually trigger the scene. How closer do I have to get? That <laughs> like, like, they can't see me. Shh, not so loud. Like, I'm standing right here. Like, hey, guys. assortment of things I mean I have enough clothing for now you take what I get I get notice at the last second and I have to jump on it no time to be picky about it well that society is putting more pressure on me so maybe we better cut back for a while you cut back now and I'm going to take my business elsewhere or maybe pay a visit to that Jen scene and tell her about your little scheme fine you made your point Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. I've observed a meeting between Thornier and a mysterious man named Agramir. Looks like my new target is Agramir. I should follow him and see where he goes. I think this is his house right here. Yep. Argamir's house is also a very good place to go for alchemy because his whole front place has a bunch of pumpkins and everything. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think I should. Damn, he scared the shit out of me. Okay. Alright, now we're in the clear. More average locks. Fuck, I hate these things. I'm pretty decent at them, but they're just so annoying sometimes. I found the manifest of all the dead bodies that he's been digging up. What a sick man. Well, I 
can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Help me catch Argamir. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm. Yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Don't worry, I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. Ha! <laughs> yes. I'll decide Go do that. <laughs> He's like, I'm okay, sure. good for you. I literally tell him his inventory is from the dead, and then I immediately go and go, so what do you have to trade? <laughs> immediately after I told him that. He's like, oh yeah, for sure, I got I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of stuff to sell to you. So Argamir is over here. Alright, now this, I'm not level 5 yet. I normally do this quest when I'm level 5, but I said screw it, we're going to do it anyway just so we can get the mace and the sword, so we can go to the arena perhaps, or the mage's guild, I'm not really quite sure what I want to do yet, if I want to go to the mage's guild and, um, you know, do those quests, or if I want to do some of the arena and level up a little bit, I haven't really decided what I want to do yet there, so before we decide, we do want to get these weapons, so let's go in, wish me luck, maybe it won't be as hard as I remember. I've located Argamir inside the family mausoleum. It appears as though he's attempting to desecrate another grave along with someone else I don't recognize. I need to convince him to stop this heinous act. I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Uh, bring it on. Oh, this is not a... Jesus, what are you doing, Argamir? What are those moves? Oh, this is what I was talking about. This guy has full armor. And he has an enchanted sword. I do not... Oh my god, no, no, no! <laughs> That was close. Ah, oh, Magica, I'm gonna need some too. Okay, bodyguard. Come on, I'm, I'm attempting to yield. This is your last chance before I slaughter you. Come on, man, yield. That wasn't too bad. With the potions, that made it pretty easy. Argamir has been slain since the penalty for grave robbing is death. It somehow seems as though justice has been done. I should search the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. A little secret note maybe none of you really knew about is if you go up... I can actually take this part of the quest. Um, some burn me here as well. If you go... Say you're in the middle of the room and you go to the left one and you jump up on it, there's actually a mace behind the wall. Oh, I forgot he gives you a ring. To say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The Kofi's coin purse is still in business. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Literally has the same the same selection from all the dead people. He lied to me. <laughs> So I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you're new. It helps me out a lot. And let me know if you guys want to see more of this. This was really fun for me to do. And I can do more playthroughs like this to, you know, change stuff up and actually upload more rather than just the top five mods every week. So if you want to see more of this, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys later. Check this out.